Greetings, I'm Zachary Hepner. I'm pleased to share this Dvar Torah with you for Parshat Akev. The Talmud and Tanit asks for the source of requesting rain as a prayer. And how do we know it's a prayer? The Brita answers with a verse in Parshat Akev. Detanya le'ahava et Hashem alokechem ulo'ovdo b'chol levavachem. Ezohi adav avadah shebelev havi omer zotfila. To love Hashem your God and serve Him with all your hearts. What is service of the heart? That must be prayer. Rambam uses this definition, service means prayer, and interprets, you shall serve Hashem your God, as the source of prayer as a commandment biblical to Oraita. See Pinchas Peli, Tradition 1980, Repentant Men, a high level in Rabbi Soloveitchik's Typology of Men, and Chaim Jachter, Insights into Tshuva by Rabbi Chaim Jachter, Volume 5. Rabbi Soloveitchik is cited frequently as focusing on repentance as thoughts that move the penitent individual to making behavioral changes. J. Kelman states, and I quote my father citing Kelman's lecture, the Rav wrote in his Dvar Torah on Tshuva that the rationale of commandments is not their performance but the changes in our behavior that they generate. He bases his interpretation on Maimonides' interpretation of the Deuteronomic commandment to love God bechol levavecha, with all your heart. What we see here is a subtle dance between worship of the heart, which is prayer, and repentance, which must be a mover of the heart to move other limbs towards change. The tshuva tfila tango can be well illustrated in Hamlet, where Shakespeare conflates the two because he never studied brisker Torah. The king is kneeling in prayer with guilt on his hand for murdering Hamlet's father, the previous king. The king indeed feels guilt, but is not moved by his guilt. Hamlet is conflicted. If the king is praying, then killing him at that moment could, said the king, to the kingdom of heaven, and he will get away with his regicide. Hamlet decides to kill the king at a later time, when he is acting without virtue, so he will be denied entry into the kingdom of heaven. The act ends with the king alone standing up from his prayer. My words fly up, my thoughts remain below. Words without thoughts, never to heaven Go. End quote. The king felt regret, but with no resolve to change his behavior, even the king knew that his prayers included no repentance. Hamlet had skipped that day the Rav had given Shear on Shuba and paid dearly for it too. Thoughts are not in our brains, but in our hearts. Levavchem or Levavecha, words without thoughts, are pro forma and possibly meaningless. Never to heaven go. The brisker version of Hamlet is very different and far less interesting. Hamlet recognizes that the king is not changing his ways and kills him on the spot, denying him entry into heaven. Hamlet, the queen Laertes, Polonius, and Ophelia survive, and they all live happily ever after. The comedy of Hamlet, according to the Rav. Wishing you a Shabbat Shalom.